Hey, everyone, it's Istvan82. We're back, and someone suggested I uh, do something that actually sounded like a pretty good idea. They want me to build a big ass sand castle. So, I think I'm gonna attempt to build as big of an ass sand castle as I can. Yes, that's an ass sand castle, but I'm gonna use sandstone, because it's not as much of a tremendous ass pain to deal with. So, let's start preparing. I mean, I've got plenty of glass, so I'm not sure about torches. I'll have to check there. So we got some sandstone, and we'll uh, we'll see. I can at least get started. It's not like I'm gonna run out of sand. And you know, we're building our sand castle on the damn roof because that's what you do, or where you build sand castles. Uh, I really do need to expand this area for animals though but we'll worry about that at a later point this is a mess this is this whole house is one damn hot mess this is a bit awkward right, let's take uh, I don't have an axe on me let's pick at these trees Alright, so what direction should I build it? What's off this way? Jungle. That's our cactus farm. We'll build it this way then. I need to actually have sand on me in order to uh, do this. So I need to rearrange it. I forgot torches. I kind of need more torches. Alright, let's go and... Once again, my... All of my projects cannot start without, you know, without at least ten false starts because I have forgotten something important. <clears throat> I wonder. Eh. Let me see something. Wondering if I can just build a hole that bypasses animals. Probably not. Here's zombies. Well, it doesn't look like you can build anything to bypass animals. Well, ow. Unless I just did something smart like, uh... This. Of course, by smart, I mean I'm walling off my front door. Which is not actually smart at all. Let me see what I can do here. Fuck you, chicken. I will kill you, pig. There we go. I don't care if I have to... And you know what? I will kill these two chickens, because I don't even give a shit. Because that's what I think of you, chickens. Unless you guys want to climb up and over. Yeah, that's right. Get back in the pen. Get back in the pen, chicken bitches. You actually go back in? Yeah, you go back in too. You go back in and stay there. I'll worry about you animals later. I'll figure something out. Damn it, wrong buttons. Let me put down some torches around here to make this even more half-assed. Good enough. Well, no, it's not at all. There, now it's good enough. All right. Where the hell did I even come down? Uh, alright. Torches. I need torches. I've got four. Alright, so let's... Make some torches. And I'm still stuffed up. I wish there was a point in my life at which my nose wasn't stuffed up. But this house is an anciently dry house, so that, that will never happen. There. Eh, eh. And I can get down there if I really need to deal with animals. That should work. This is the most... This is the worst mess of a house I have ever made. I should have brought a damn axe. Anyway. Alright. Yeah. Build it out this way. So, how many... Uh, um, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 
And I'll go build 10 out on the other side as well. And I'll connect it up and start filling it in. Just why not? Uh, yes, I am building a fly. Oh, there are Endermen down there. Oh, Lord. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. I don't know why I'm counting this way since it doesn't matter. I'm looking forward to the new update. I'm not entirely sure what my next goal should be. I mean, that might be... A, maybe I'll actually continue to build a huge freaking sandcastle over in the next thing. This will be a minor sandcastle. Because that's a good idea. Because the problem is, people suggest things, and then I forget in that episode that, um... Like... Oh, I'll forget that I was like, suggest things for the next update, and they'll just suggest things, and then I'll be like, ah, uh, what? I should make a video specifically for that purpose, where I was like, suggest things. Damn it. Cause that's, you know, that's what I do when I'm asking people favors. I curse at them, because that's how you get them to help you. Well, it depends if you're, you know, the sort of person who appears on Jerry Springer a lot, I imagine. Alright, I still have some in there. I don't need... Or some in my hand. I don't need to... Or in my hot bar. <laughs> Alright, so... This isn't too bad. Definitely need to go get more sand and whatnot. But that's not too much of a... Damn it. Of a, uh, issue... Do right. do man. I may have to. Well, no, I'm not gonna do anything off camera in hardcore mode because man, that would be a really easy way to just end up dying. And it's like, yeah, the game, uh, the game ended. That's pretty much it. No, you don't. You don't get to see it because my dumbass got killed while gathering gravel or something. And there's those and those. Well, I might get the floor down just barely. Hold shift. I do not want a weak finger to... Or I do not want my finger to uh, slip off while I'm doing this. This is dangerous. This is also a great place for monsters to hide during the day, so I'm going to have to do something about that. I'm not sure. If I could find lava, I have buckets. Actually, I think I can find lava if I really want Alright, now let me throw a quick layer of torches down here. It doesn't really take as many as I throw down, but, you know, better safe than zombie facey. It's, uh, it's like being sorry, only without a face. Just ask that guy in Florida. It'd, he, it would be better to be safe than zombie facey. Uh, I shouldn't, you know, make fun of that because apparently everyone is f uh, still flipping out over that. And I keep hearing conflicting reports about, you know, he was on drugs, he wasn't on drugs. The only thing they found in his system was THC. No, it was artificial marijuana. Uh, they're protecting the drug industry. No, they're trying to protect, the, or the media is trying to blah blah blah. Like, I don't give a shit. Just tell me if I need to go get a shotgun or a pickaxe. Just confirm or deny if this person was crazy or a zombie. You know, like that fucking lunatic just recently who went to the fucking movie theater and shot up a bunch of people trying to watch a damn movie. That, you know, and then when he appeared in court, he dyed his hair orange because he wanted to be in solidarity with the Joker. Like, really, motherfucker? Really? Thank you, thank you. You have now... People will be going insane over this for you don't know how long. Seriously. I, I'm glad... Or I want to see him in a state that has the death penalty. I'm not sure if Colorado does, but I really hope it does. Because this motherfucker needs to die. A, for murdering people, and B, for, you know, 
the uh, immense shitstorm that he has now invoked. Because there's no way people are just going to let this be. They're going to claim, you know, oh, superhero comics and superhero movies, violence, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? It's not going to amount to a goddamn hill of beans. But it's just going to be the fact that we're going to hear about it from, you know, supposed experts for well over the next year and a half. Talking about how the dangers of, you know, superhero movies and... Why not beat your child if he does not understand that there's a difference between movie and reality? Seriously, beat the shit out of him. I don't care if your state frowns on it. I don't care if your parenting method frowns on it. Your child needs to understand there's a difference between a comic book and a real life, or in real life, and if he doesn't understand that, hit him. Hit him hard and hit him till he gets it, because otherwise he's going to do something retarded. And seriously, even the ki the guy's own mother, the guy's own mother, when they were like, yes, we think your son was involved, you got the right guy. Before they even, you know, or when they, or before any type of evidence had been presented to her, she told them, you got the right guy. I mean, I don't know, I'm not gonna pass judgment on her as a parent, but all I'm gonna say is that her kid shot up a fucking movie theater and killed, like, what, 12 people? That is my judgment pass. Uh, I don't know. Fuck it. And the point which your kid, if your kid does that shit, you failed. I believe I, you know, I believe I agree with Louis Anderson who said that the way he would handle parenting is you would be given a dog, and if you raise the dog right, then you would be allowed to raise a child later. If someone actually asked him, well, who's to say what is raising a child right and wrong? And he's like, I am, or I will. I've fucking raised dog, or I've owned dogs. Well, I haven't, but you know, I've owned pets. If it doesn't shit on the carpet, doesn't and doesn't bite heat people, it was raised right. You know, that's what it is. It should know better. If you can train a dog to know better, then you can probably do it with a child. Because let's face it, small children and dogs are just about as smart. I mean, statistically, children don't actually even develop their own level of learning and intellect until age 10 or 11. Anything you hear about, oh, my child, the teacher says I'm in the night, or my child's in the 90th percentile at school, is all shit that, you know, the teachers tell you to shut you up. It just means that your child has learned or retained information better than other children, which doesn't mean they're smarter. It means they paid attention. You know, it doesn't mean shit. Congratulations. Now, I'll admit... It can help if your child does not have any learning disabilities and is good at concentration. Those are entirely separate skills that have nothing to do with age. But mentally, all children are exactly the same up until they or up until they start hitting puberty. Now, unless they have some sort of disability that presents or prevents them from being exactly the same as everyone else, they are. This is. I read a medical study on this. I'm sure that there are also like nine medical studies count or er, contradicting this, but at the same time, I don't give a shit. You know, your child is not a special little snowflake. It is never a special little snowflake. Uh, I don't know. But then again, I say all this, yet I am going to. Or I will never breed. I can promise you that much. I will never breed. Because. I don't think that I should continue my goddamn gene pool because I think my kid would come out of it with attention deficit disorder and rage issues. And that's a bad combination because they get angry and hulk out and not remember why. And I'll tell you, I've got fucking rage issues. I've got major rage issues. I just know to control them because if you don't, you go to jail. And I get, you know, what do I do? I come on YouTube and I play fucking video games and complain. For some reason, you guys watch me. I'm not sure why, but uh, thanks. I mean, you're cool and all. I appreciate you. I think you are nice dudes and dudettes. So, you know, there's that. But, you know, at the same time, I won't, you know, go knocking futs and then attack someone in a shopping mall because they insulted a game show I like. So I'm an adult. I'm an adult, and I know how to behave like an adult, and that is not it. 
Okay. I also know that the absolute best thing to do when you're an adult is not instantly blame something else for why something has happened. Was the person on mind-altering drugs? No. Then it's probably not uh, drugs. That's fair. I am going to have to guess that with the millions of people that have watched Batman or read the comics and never gone to shoot up a damn movie theater, it is probably not Batman that did this or caused this. You know, that's that's just my guess. If it's a if it is a unique event, then you cannot blame the or you cannot blame the movie. If it is something that happened quite frequently at other screenings of Batman movies, like if this was common, something that they had to prepare for when a Batman movie was released, then yes, you could blame the Batman movie. This is an actual this is how actual real scientific analysis works, people. You cannot blame the movie unless this is constant. So chances are, it was a crazy fucking dude. You know, so, the second I hear people, I haven't heard yet because I've actually been ignoring the press because I don't want to, I don't want to rage about this as much as I probably will. The second I start hearing people in the press blaming Batman for promoting violence, that is when I just will. Well, as I, uh, that's when I'll just be forced to try and stop myself from hulking out. Uh, urgh, media smash. Media no understand scientific evaluation procedure. Media no understand common sense. Hmm, I know. But, anyway, this is where I'll call it. So, I'll be back tomorrow when we will have more Minecraft. So, till then, peace out, guys.